Hey guys, it's August here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Last time we finished off the 6th dungeon of the Dark World, the Misery Mire, and got a few items afterwards, like the Magic Powder, and the Bombus Medallion. And today, let's head on to the 7th dungeon and get it started. Now I gotta say guys, I'm fairly excited to get this started. Once we finish this dungeon and get a few more items, we can pretty much finish the game. It's pretty damn exciting. Although a little bit sad as well, I suppose most LPs are like that, you know. It's been a great journey, but it has to end sometime. But I've had a lot of fun with this LP, it's been great. And once I finish the game, I have to show off the extra dungeon that's in the Game Boy Advance version. Now that, I honestly forget what the dungeon's about, but I have an idea. And if I'm right, then it's going to be a lot of trouble, so... <laughs> but I'm not going to say anything just in case I'm wrong, or in case I'm right and I spoil it, so yeah. But we'll have to see how it turns out. Now there are a lot of caves here. Ah, uh, start with this one I guess. What's in here? Can't do anything over there? <laughs> Is there a key or something? It honestly wouldn't surprise me. There is a wall though, let's break it down. What do we got? Rupees? Heart pieces? Treasure for everyone? No, a shop. <laughs> well, fine then. I might just steal this. <laughs> Is it like um, Link's Awakening? I wish. <laughs> to be honest guys, I've never actually played Link's Awakening before, I really should. I know a lot of people will like, consider it to be one of the best Zelda games out there, but I've never given it a shot. I've seen a few LPs and the whole dream thing does seem pretty cool, but yeah. I really should try it out one day. Well this is going fairly confusing, I expected this to be kind of easy. The dungeon's actually the top right of the map in the mountains, so yeah, that's why I'm over here. What about up here? Oh god, these guys are back. Got up here damn swirly guys. I had enough trouble with a big one. We haven't seen those guys in a while, actually, huh? Ooh, a fairy, I'll take that. I have an extra bottle. See, where are we? Ooh, we're getting close to it, actually. You get out of the way, good. Those damn stone guys are being such a pain in the ass lately. They're everywhere. And here we are, guys, at the seventh dungeon. Now, this may seem kind of... Plain, but if you wait a second, and we hammer these down, uh, then nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> I think you have to hammer those down in a certain order, and I completely forget the order, huh? This may take me a few tries. Come on over here, guy. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about this? Awesome, there we go! And this takes us to the seventh dungeon. Here we go, guys. Uh, get our quake out. And let's open the way. Let's head on in. This is where we are, by the way. And this is... Turtle Rock, the seventh dungeon of the Dark World. August, do you possess the medicine of magic? If not, I recommend going against going against. I recommend against going any further. Man, that was trouble. It's okay, talking wall. I have my um, extended magic meter. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> so yes, this is the last dungeon of the Dark World, and they're going to be throwing quite a lot of us today. But we can take it down. So first of all, let's try and find a map, so I know where to go in this place. Because from what I remember, this does not look nice. Ooh, a compass, cool. Can we see anything now? Uh, okay, the boss is on the bottom floor, good. And the boss of this place is pretty dangerous too. Uh. Uh. Do I have to shoot this guy? No? Then how do I, how do I get out? Uh, fly away! <laughs> Help me, magic mirror. Good, that's what that's one way to do things. Yeah, the boss of this place is very, very dangerous, so... Hopefully I can actually do this in one piece. I have a lot of healing items, so I think I'll be okay, but... First of all, we have to actually get to him. So let's go up here then. Over these platforms. Get over here, flying skull. 
That's a really weird key door, huh? It's like almost like a fence or something. <laughs> Why is there a fence in the final dungeon? That's not epic at all. Okay, get out of here. This Tempest Sword would come in so useful. Take it, take care of things really easily in this place. Okay, let's, let's run away from these damn floor tiles. They're out for my blood. Or we're gonna just, like sit up here and just swing my sword. <laughs> Probably the best thing to do. Not as epic as running away from them, but who cares? Ow! Don't you knock me onto the spikes? You too. Wow, I think this place do quite a bit of damage, huh? Uh, are you guys almost done yet? Guys! Guys! There better be something awesome behind this door. There is! Uh... Are you serious? You've got to be joking, right? So this room is like completely pointless? Uh, bombs? Blow everything up! What a waste of my time. Do I have to go back through this? No, good, man. Okay, so, two useless rooms so far. Fan friggin' tastic. Let's go over here then. <laughs> I love I like that post he's making there. Like, wow, I'm a running man. Ooh, now this looks good. Locked door up there, I guess I have to light these first. Yeah, a fiery rod. Let's do this. Very slowly. Well, this seems kind of useless down here. I wonder why that's there, huh? Oh, whatever, let's do this. Light! Oh, yeah. Two at once, not bad. And you? And you. Well, that was fairly easy. Please be something good in here for once. There is just rolly pins. Fantastic. I honestly don't expect any less from the final dungeon, but wow. Oh, finally, the map. Perfect. And the other chest? A key. Cool. Now I can, now I can get that um, fence door. See, the dungeon seems fairly straightforward just right now. Hopefully it doesn't get too confusing later on. I don't want, like, another um, attempt at the Ice Palace, so yeah. Let us go back to the fence door, then. For that awesome pose. Why are you even doing that, Link? Why? Whoops. You can't do that. You meant to take me places. Good. There we go. Take care of you. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Okay, let's head on through. Where are we now? Oh my god, it's like a pokey. Hey, 20 rubies, not bad. I'll destroy all of you then. Maybe I got like 100 rubies from this. Okay, that's not bad either. Oh, I didn't even realize the door was there. <laughs> I was just killing him for the hell of it. Hey, chain chomps, cool. Now, where is the key in this place? Man. Do I have to kill the chain chomps or something? How would he even do that, huh? Wait, where is the key? I'm actually... Oh, we can push those. Cool, there we go. And I'm about to die. Run, Link! Oh, that was really, really close. <laughs> Great Mario references. I wonder what else is in here. Are they going to be like Lakitu's or something? Bombs, magic, hearts. Yeah, I need more hearts. Definitely. And some more arrows too that um... Fight with Vitrice really wore me out on those front. On that front. Can you get over here? Good. And one final piece. Oh, where the hell did he go? Trying to run away from me, huh? <laughs> this guy's going, going all over the place. Okay, you come back here right now. Let's intercept him. Oh, yeah. And he didn't even have anything good. <laughs> I was looking for another key. Wow, it's like going on all Metroid on us.
That is a lot of lava, man. I suppose I expect it from the last dungeon, so yeah. Okay, so what's in here? We have a lot of those damn things there. Bubbles, whatever they call it, I actually forget. Oh, no, no, no! Don't you turn me into a bunny! Don't you turn me, <laughs> turn me into a bunny! Run, August! Run! Hooray! You get away! Give me your key. Good. I'm actually surprised I haven't died yet. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be saying that just yet. I was... Damn I! Why are you there? Yeah, bring me back. I have another fairy too, which is good. I'm glad I picked it up earlier. Ooh, what's in the chest? We have the big key. Awesome. Glad I found that pretty early on. Although, where to next, huh? Can't get back that way. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> well, let's go back to the um, other pipe then, which is down here. And take the other pipe in that lava room. See where it leads. Maybe to the big chest. Ooh. So it was this one. Where are we off to now? And where have you guys? Man, you're all over the place. Yeah, are we taking no rupees? These guys deal so much damage to you. Man, I really could use another armor upgrade game. <laughs> wink, wink. Come back here. I died again? Man, I might have to go get some more fairies off screen. <laughs> 64 rupees, that's pretty awesome. Ah, speaking of fairies, I'll take this one. Yeah, it may be worth it just getting like red potions or something because they heal so much more than the fairies do. Okay, so which door, guys? Let's go in the south door, I reckon. Uh, to the left, I guess. That is a lot of eyes. Uh, should I? <laughs> Let's do it. Run, Link! Awesome. You guys can't hurt me, although there are quite a few of you. Where are we now? Outside, huh? It's pretty cool. And there's the big chest. The big chest contains... The mirror shield. You can now reflect beams that your old shield cannot. Awesome. See, this is the final shield upgrade in the game. And now this damn eye doors can't hurt us. So if you've got the red shield in the um, waterfall, then this kind of makes, you know, a really, really good replacement for your old one. But yeah, it's still pretty cool nonetheless. Every Zelda game needs a mirror shield somewhere. And those guys love dropping their red rupees. And their bombs too. Now, which way here? Let's have a look at our map. So up leads to a dead end, and right leads to two rooms. I'll go up then first. Clear it out. And I keep pressing the damn menu button. Put that down, Link. Good. Oh man, it's like little black things. The <laughs> spawns of hell himself. That was weird. Ah, wait a second. This is... What? <laughs> Apparently there's a room above here, even though there's not a room above here. Okay. Unless there's these downstairs. Ah, oh, that would be it. There you go. That's actually a fairly simple explanation that I kind of, like, messed up. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, let's head over here, then. Ooh, what's in this room? Uh, how, how do we get in here? We cannot. Do we have to come here from downstairs? I have a feeling we may, guys. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> I guess you have to destroy all the enemies first. Well, there you go. Bombs! Bombs everywhere! That was a fairly bad trap. I didn't even get it once. Oh my god, it's like a treasure room. <laughs> all my treasures came at once. I died. Luckily, I picked up that fairy then. Although, like I said, I may need to get more of them off screen or something, because, man, I'm taking quite a beating in here.
Damn rolling pins. Ah, uh, should I try and go for those? Screw it, let's do it. <laughs> That actually reminds me of something. I was watching um, Slim Kirby play Warrior Land on the like Game Boy, I think it is. And I've never seen Warrior Land before, but it made me wonder. Like, the whole game is about Warrior collecting coins, and I made me wonder, like, why didn't they make um, the like, you know, new Mario game on the 3DS? We had to collect coins. Like a Warrior Land game. Like, it seems to make much more sense than being Mario collecting coins. I don't know. It just seemed like a really good idea to me. I wonder why they didn't do it. Like, I've never played the Warrior Land games at all, but it seemed like a pretty good idea to me. And now we have fire bars. Great, more Mario references here. Ah, oh, damn it. Luckily, they didn't hit for much at all. Come on, Link, we can do it. What's over here, then? Some more pots? Pretty cool. Yes, this is the right way to go. Good. And the eggs is not open. Fantastic. Come on, Link. Now that's the way up. This room is really actually damn annoying. Let's go over here then. And down. And I bet you guys like yelling at me like, Go over there, August! Go over there! Go in the center. There's the button. Good. Finally. Now, if that's on a timer, <laughs> I may be in a lot of trouble. How did I do this again? Was it this way? Yes! Hooray! We made it. Cool. Ah, lasers everywhere! Lasers and those damn things there. Luckily, our mirror shield is here to protect us. Oh yeah, can't do anything to me, can you, laser? Ooh. Heh, <laughs> awesome micro. That's why I'm like a grandmaster at StarCraft. Even though I like, don't actually own StarCraft. <laughs> I do love that game, by the way, though. It's pretty damn awesome. The original, like, and Brood War on the Army, you know, like, really, really old games. Are some, like, my favorite games of all time. I love them so much. Well, I am pretty bad at them. I never even finished the campaign on Brood War. That campaign is brutal. I'm about to die again. Hooray. Come on. Laser me. Come on, do the micro, do the micro. Do the micro dance. Okay, please be a shot behind you or something. Something nice. This shield is like as big as I am. Man, it's crazy. Wait a second, I have an idea, guys. Ooh. Uh, is this, is this anywhere special? Oh. I thought it would lead to a heart piece or something. Oh well, screw it, screw it. Let's get back then. I didn't like the room anyway. I suppose it's like an easy way out or something, but I can just, you know, use the magic mirror, so meh, whatever. I was close. This room does not look friendly. Oh, damn it. Half a heart, half a heart. I can do this game. Uh, go, quickly. Good. Now you can die by hammer. Hammer time! I died. <laughs> Alright guys, I think this is a good time to stop the video, so... Next time, I'll see you guys back there. I'll come back with, you know, full supplies. Oh, that's actually a good exit point. Cool. Yeah, I'll come back with, you know, um, fairies, red potions, all that good stuff. And we'll take on the boss next time and collect the rest of the items in the game. I'll see you guys then.